いぐらい昔から言ったものが今でも火山の怒りを持って静まることはあるまい拙者の姿から逃げるべしさもなくば見つけ出し骨を粉までも見えんぐらいぶっ壊すんだうわははは Creatures of the wilderness, the Sylvaneth can appear capricious or cruel to some. But really, we are the offspring of the goddess Salarial, beings of nature, creatures of life magic whose flesh and sinew are crafted from the living bones of the wildwood. And though our motivations may seem inconstant, our deeds whimsical and strange, we are beings that safeguard the natural cycles of the mortal realms and cleanse the land of that which taints it. Hey, welcome to another Saga of Dice Battle Report. So today we're playing 2000 points. Of Age of Sigmar, and it's gonna be Sylvaneth versus. Crew Boys! Yeah! With Kragnos. Wow. Yeah. So, neither one of us is playing the most competitive thing ever. You, you just you brought Sylvaneth, so、yeah. by definition, it's not the most competitive thing、no. ever. And I brought. I think Kragnos is. There's a good argument for him now. I think, he, I think if used well, and I'm not saying I'm gonna use it well, but if used well, I think he could really do something. But I brought. Him and Gobsprack, because ever since I heard Gobsprack's story, I've wanted to do what I'm going to do today.、Um, so I thought it was a pretty good chance, you know, when you're bringing Sylvaneth.、Mm -hmm. you're, you're bringing, like, probably a harder Sylvaneth list. I think so. I think I feel there's like potential this, for it. I、okay? feel like this, has, this list has some potential.、Mm. And, and like you, I'm bringing two named characters. So、yep. I've, I've got Alarial and Dryker. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be great. But、um, so, yeah, and you already said it's tectonic interference? Yeah, so tectonic interference, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. We're playing in the swamp, you know, Sylvaneth trees versus swampy orcs. And yeah, it, it, you know, hopefully it'll be a great battle.、Um, so, but before we forget, please subscribe for the YouTube gods, comment for the algorithm throne, and hit the screaming bell to always receive notifications. And now、um, I've started a Patreon. So,、uh, it's up and running. There will be a link in the description.、Uh, what we're doing right now is we're kind of just doing where you can kind of vote for where we start taking the more narrative style stuff.、Um, so, check it out if you're, if you're up for it. There's, you know, nothing's going to ever be locked behind any paywall, but you know, if, if you're inclined, it would be much appreciated. But yeah, so we're going to go set up and we'll see you guys after deployment. Okay, so today we're playing Tectonic Interference, and it's pretty simple. There's three objectives along the midline here, and what we're gonna do is at the start of every battle round, we're gonna determine which one of these three is the primary. If you control the primary, you get two points, you get one point for the other two、uh, objectives, and then you score your battle tactics for, for two more points. And we should note that all three of these are primaries, and they can't be removed in turn three. So that's pretty much it. We just add up all the victory points at the end and see who's the winner. Nice. We'll be back with the lists. All right. So 2,000 points of Sylvaneth. Actually, it comes to 1995. So、nice. I'm playing the Nalroot、uh, Glade. And so Nalroot、um, has a few things.、Uh, one is that、uh, I get to reroll ones to hit、uh, in, in shooting and in combat. As long as I'm wholly within 12 inches of a, a Gnarl Root Wizard,、uh, which is really good because I've got three wizards already. And、um, so the other thing is that、uh, my general is the Warsong Revenant. And so the general,、uh, he, this guy, he has the command trait nurtured by magic. So every time、uh, he casts a spell, Uh, I can heal D3, more,、uh, D3 wounds、hmm. to a unit within range of him. Wow. And,、uh, every time? I think it's every time. I'll have to check. It might just、And、be can, once. Can that bring models back? No. Oh, bring models okay. Back. okay. Yeah. yeah. That's still pretty good, though, because you're going to have a lot of elite stuff.、So. Yeah. yeah. 
And he has the Chalice of Nectar. Okay. Um, is the only artifact that you have to take for Nalru. And okay. what that does is when I roll to cast spells with him, I roll three dice and take the best two. All of them? Every time you roll? Every time, every time I roll. What? Yes. That is not a thing that you have to take. That's something you want to take. Yeah. Almost. And I, I got it. It might be for unbinding as well, but I'll, I'll double check that. But wow. um, I know it's definitely for casting. So he's my general. As opposed to Gobsprack who gets to do that once per game. Yeah. When he dispels. <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay. And then I've got Alarial. So she also counts as a general and kind of needs no real kind of introduction. Yep. Uh, I've got Dryker uh, mm -hmm. as well. And so she's got this, this spell uh, Regrowth. Um, I should note that both of these guys, the Warsong and Ilarial, they know all the uh, spells from right. the Sylvanith lore, which is really handy. That's really cool. Um, and then I've got a uh, Spirit of Dirthu as well, mm -hmm. just straight up. Cool. Uh, and then on top of that, I've got five Tree Revenants hanging out at the back. Um, remember, they ready can, to be teleported. Ready to be teleported. <laughs> uh, and then two units of ten Dryads. Um, Neat. And then the other thing that I've got, which is not on the board right now, is a, is uh, my homemade Umbral Spell Portal, which is a couple of mirrors. <laughs> That's cool. With some. With Where'd some, you get those? Uh, I got them at Michael's. Oh, cool. That's a local yeah. hobby store for anyone wondering. Yeah. I knew people were going to ask about it because that's really dope. Yeah. 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 Thanks. So that, that's that. Um, Very cool. And yeah. And then I've got my one free wildwood right here. Right. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. That's an awesome list. Uh, I guess we'll be back in a moment with the um, Cruel Boys list. Yeah. Okay. So I've got... 1990 points of Cruel Boys today with the big man, the end of bank accounts, uh, Kragnos himself, Chadnos, as he's also known colloquially. Um, he's obviously a named character, so <laughs> he, just, he just does what he does. But he's got a new word scroll, and I can't wait. I uh, just finished painting them uh, today, actually. I rimmed the base today. So then we've also got Gobsprack and... Like that's the one of the whole reasons I, I got this thing is just to do a little bit between these two go goofballs. Um, he knows all the spell lore and he's also a named character, so nothing more to explain. Uh, and then this is my general, a Swamp Kala Shaman. He has Egomaniac and his spell was a uh, Nasty Hex. Not that I'm really gonna use it. That's why it took me so long to figure it out. And then he has I. oh no, this, oh yeah, yeah. He has Eye Biter Ash, that's right. I didn't. Uh, and then uh, two units of Gut Rippers. Oh, did I see this guy already? No, I didn't, did I? No. Uh, so he has a Choking Mist for his spell. Again, not going to use it, but then that's what he's got. Uh, and then one unit of Gut Rippers, one unit of Gut Rippers, and one unit of Bolt Boys, which obviously means I have the Big Yeller's uh, Allegiance. And that's it. That's 1990 points. I do have the Inspired uh, Triumph, I believe. Because you're 1995. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's my list. Oh, and I have, I forgot, I almost forgot. I think you helped me remember, you like looked over at it pointedly. <laughs> yeah. I've got this because I just had no other room in this list. It's it's yeah. not the most competitive thing, but it should be super fun, I hope. Um, then uh, you there was something you were going to say. Oh, yeah. So, um, just a point of clarification with the Warsong Revenant. Right. That's what it was. Uh, so, it's only once per hero phase when he casts a spell successfully that he can heal uh, something with, it, with you know, D3. But, it's 3D6 for all casts and all unbinds. Drop, dropping the lowest one. Dropping the lowest one, but... Damn, that's 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 an amazing artifact. And he's naturally plus one to yes. cast, unbind, and dispel. Yeah, that's so from good. the from the wild. That's yeah. the gray seer thing, but without the the downside of maybe killing yourself. Yeah, <laughs> and you get the plus to the the cast. It's it's way better. It's amazing. So oh, nice. and then this is your place of power. I don't know if you said yeah, that. Yeah, uh, place of power. Yeah, so I'm immune to battle shock if I'm holy within six inches of that. Yeah. Exactly. So yep, yeah, those are those are the lists. Uh, we'll be right back with turn one. Okay, so we're into uh, the first battle round, and actually, the first thing we need to do is determine which of these is oh, going to be right, the, right, right. the primary. So, just so it's easier for the camp people watching at home, yeah, maybe you could roll it, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, ready? Cool. Yep. It's a five, so, so it's going to be this one over here. here. We're, we're neither one of us essentially deployed. Yeah. Um, cool. So I decided to give Andy the first turn. 
this may be a mistake. And for my dirty trick, I picked minus one to wound rolls for the first battle round. Yeah. I was going to pick disappearing act, but then this one, it's the territory is halfway up. Yeah. So at the end of his next movement phase, he could just literally set them up here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it didn't really make a difference. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's what that's that's what that was. Uh, so now I guess we're on to your turn. Yeah. So I'm proper. Gonna, yeah. Sounds good. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, for my battle tactic, I'll just do Ferocious Advance. So I'm just going to run... Uh, the, the ever popular, yeah. Yeah, the ever popular. Mm. So I'll run the Dryads and Dryker and Dirtu. Cool. Um, and like then it. for my uh, heroic action, I'm yes. going to try to roll for an extra CP. As will I. Uh, let's see. I'll roll for a Larial. Okay. So she doesn't get it, no. Okay. Oh, I'm... It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was like, I was trying to think of who it was going to be before it actually like finished rolling. Not that it really matters. And then, yeah, it didn't matter at all because we both rolled a one. So let's go into spell casting. You so, will be my battle shock dice. <laughs> uh, so what I'll do is I'll try to do uh, Throne of Vines. Cool. With the uh, Warsong Revenant. So you get plus one to this and you get to roll three. And take the best two. Right. Yeah. So, Ooh. so that is going to be an eight plus one is nine. Okay. Do you want to try to unbind? I do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Gobsprax once per game ability to roll 3d6 flat. Okay. I, he is definitely in range. I, okay, cool. I measured ahead yep. of time before I, t before I let you take the first turn because yep. otherwise I was, going to, I was going to like move forward just so I could get him into unbind range. Yep. So he, I just roll 3d6 for this and I don't minus anything. Okay. But it's once per game. Um, that won't do it. So yeah, that's a eight. That is an eight. Yeah. So. Damn it, Gobsprack! <laughs> Why can't you? Yeah. That be was, better. <laughs> that was. Yeah, that was important. So I'll. Um, yeah. I'll put a little token on. Um, I don't regret using it there, just because it's. No, that was that was a good idea. Yeah. I'll put that on uh, the war song. It's not the right token, but it'll remind me. Cool. Um, of that. I'm actually going to switch to Alarial now. And okay. And so she's going to try to cast the Umbral Spell Portal. Oh. That goes off on a five. Okay. So, uh, goes off on a six if you want to try to unbind. Let's see. I, I do. Where, uh, who's in range of her? Oh, they both are. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and uh, do it from Gobsprack. Okay. So, um, just regular 2d6, and yep. he does it. So, you take d3 mortal wounds. On a and, uh, Anytime you unbind with Gobsprack, you, you just take d3 mortal okay. wounds. So, uh, you take one. One. She will be healing that, probably. Yes. <laughs> but, like, the ward save on the other guy just meant it kind of was like, yeah. whatever. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, I'll go back to uh, the Warsong Revenant. Yes. And so, he is going to try to summon a Wildwood. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now he's rolling 3d6, uh -huh. take the best two, and now he's at plus three to this. Okay. So so that's going to be nine plus three is 12. Whoa. Woof. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't unbind that. Yeah. Now that Gobsprax, whatchamacallit's good. I'll, I'll set that up once, yeah, that's once fine. in, that's in cool. the movement phase. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. So, he, so the war song's done casting now. So now I'll do uh, Mystic Shield. So let's put that on Dryker. Who's uh, uh, so Dryker's going to try to cast it okay. for himself. I'll try it on, on yeah, himself. I'll, yeah. We'll see if it goes through or not. So okay, can you? Yeah, that cocked. one's cocked. So we've got a four and a four, so eight for that one. Um, I might as well try and combine that with um, with my other Swamp Collar Shaman. Nope. Okay. One of those games. So Mystic Shield on Dryker. And then everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> I think uh, I've got two more casts with Valerio, but only really one. Okay. Oh, because the spell went off here, yeah. I can heal D3 on Alaria. Oh, right. So she yeah. just heals that one <laughs> that one wound. Um, cool. And then Alaria will try to do Arcane Bolt. Goes off on an eight. I'm going to let you have that one. Okay. So she has Arcane Bolt. Uh, so that is all my spells and the end of my hero phase. So oh, is that your last one? Well, then I might as well try and unbind it. I yeah, suppose. sure. Okay. Because yeah. I've got one more with um, the Shaman. Or I mean with Gobsprack. Oh, oh, yeah, you got it. There we go. Okay. 
All right, so yeah, that's it. We'll come back. Uh, I'll put I'll put down the trees that I've summoned as well. Cool. And then we'll come back and and at the end of movement. Sounds good. Okay, so I've moved everything. Uh, these guys all moved up, and then Ilarial summoned uh, three bow hunters here. Mm -hmm. The tree revenants teleported over here. Uh, they're going to be capturing this objective. Yes. And then the dryads moved up slightly. They're just got a toe on that objective. So I've got I've got a toe on each of each of the objectives. These guys all ran forward to do my battle tactic. So yeah, then I'm just going to go into shooting. I know this is my this was the summoned wood that I put here. That's right. Yeah. So and you have some kind of sneaky alternative reason for that I don't know yet. Yeah. For doing what you did there. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, it's all good. Hopefully we'll find out in time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so then what I'm going to do is start off by shooting with the bow hunters. Cool. I'll spend a command point to do all-out attack. I will spend a command point to do all-out defense. Yeah, they're shooting the guys in the back. Mm -hmm. So uh, with plus one to hit, the reds will be twos and the whites will be threes. Cool. And I'm re-rolling ones. There are no ones, so these are just straight up misses. And then I'm minus one to wound, so I'm wounding on fours. That's correct. So that is, wow. Wow. <laughs> four, saves okay. minus, four saves at minus one. Minus one. So then I th think they go back to their uh, to a six up. I should have had this prepared. Yeah. Yikes. Not good. Uh, so I got one save there. Okay, so the D3 a piece. That's correct. <laughs> so that is going to be, wow, just three wounds. Okay, so that kills one guy and uh, puts a wound on another guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll find something. You can keep going. <laughs> All right, so then Alarial will shoot at the front unit here. Cool. Uh, so she gets one shot hitting on a two. Oops. I'll roll another dice. <laughs> hitting on a two. Hits. And then wounds on a two. On a three this time. On a three, sorry. Didn't matter. So six, so minus two rend. Uh, so that goes through. Uh, six flat damage. Oh, jeez. So that's three guys dead. Una dos trace. Oh, wait, actually, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, cool, okay. And that that'll be... That is brutal stuff. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> that'll be the end of my turn. That wasn't a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So I score one, two, three, four for objectives. Yep. And then my battle tactic is six, so I'll be on six points. Okay. Um, so yep, we'll be back with Cruel Boys, turn one. Yeah. Okay, it's Cruel Boys, turn one. Um, after a lot of thinking, I've decided to try and uh, do Broken Ranks for my, mm -hmm. that's the one where you kill the battle line unit. Yep. Um, on this unit here, because uh, I feel like you've just fed that to me. You know, so uh, yeah, so then I'm gonna roll for a CP for my, um, from, uh, I'll do it from Gobsprack actually. Yeah. Uh, got it. Okay, I Six. will roll for one on uh, Durthu. Nice. Nope. Okay, and then into my hero phase proper. Um, first, what I'm going to do is called uh, the Black Pit from Gobsprack here. And it goes off on a seven. Oh, wait a minute. Is he not in range? 12. Oh, he can only do it on them. Well, I guess I'll just do it on them then. <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, it's called, it's called the Black Pit. Has a casting value of seven. Uh, does not go off because okay. Gobsprack sucks at casting even though he's the mouth of Mark. Uh, true story. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, next I'm going to do uh, Mystic Shield from him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gobsprack, Gobsprack, Gobsprack. Okay, so this guy is going to forego casting to put uh, poison inc venom encrusted weapons on these guys. Yep. Or make it from a six to a five. Yep. And this guy's gonna try and cast um, uh, Emerald Life Swarm. Thank you. Very, um, okay, thank God. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll try to unbind with Dryker. Please. Because I think this guy's out of range. He so. is, yeah, yeah we so. have, I measured ahead of time. Okay, so Dryker rolls a three. Okay, thank so God. So you get that. I was like, come on, man. So that gets put down within six inches here of the, 
pot grot because they count as one model and then it moves eight inches over here and it's going to heal these guys yep for uh, it's d3 i believe for one but that's still that takes this guy up to he hasn't taken any damage and then it'll move again at the end of my yeah. of, of so maybe i'll just roll that on camera sure for for the people at home uh there we go so i got back one full guy as well Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I think that's my hero phase, as sad as it was. So we'll be back at the end of the movement phase. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've done our movement. And he was very crafty. He really boxed me out of doing anything interesting or important or <laughs> <laughs> significant. Um, and because of how you did that, I was forced to, um, I have to shoot three of these guys into them and then the, the other six are going into the Karnoth Hunters. Okay. So I, I already spent a CP to all out attack. Oh, actually I'll, I'll do that from Gobsbrack instead. I forgot that he had it still yep. because I was originally gonna make these guys auto run, yep. but then I didn't. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, and you uh, redeployed. Yeah, I redeployed the Dryads a bit further back, yeah. That was probably best because now I can't shoot into them. Yeah. Um, which was my plan. Okay. So yeah. Um, so first it'll be six shots into these guys here. Sure. Not the end of the world because I need them to die. Um, oh my god. So, uh, one second. I can't even remember what they, they, they hit on threes. <laughs> so that's three hits. <laughs> okay then. Uh, wounds on, I believe, threes. Yeah, wounds on threes. Oh dear. So that at least that's three wounds on them and it's minus one. Okay, so they'll be saving on sixes. Okay. So one wow. save, two. So it'll be four damage total. Four damage. Yes, sir. So I'll take off one, two, three, four. Okay. Man, that could have gone a lot better. Yeah. Well, here's and hoping. That, that, and that was just three of them. That was three of them, yeah. Yeah. Man, that was like that was a bad roll though, hey? Yeah. Um, so fives are two mortal wounds. Into the Kurnoth Hunters? Yeah, into the Kurnoth Hunters. I, I guess I didn't say it. Yeah. And so now they're hitting on threes. Um, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wounds. Twelve mortal wounds. And, and the fives do d two mortal wounds? They all do two mortal wounds because the, the, the shaman put his poison weapons okay. on them. Yeah. Sure. And... Um, and now these are two to wound, the threes. So there we go. So four um, at minus one. Okay, so four at minus one is saving on fives. So three go through, so that's so 15 wounds. Uh, six plus two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's 18, 18 wounds. wounds, yeah. Okay, so that kills the unit. Okay. Well, at least that part went well. I was. Hoping, <laughs> um, I guess it's charges now. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll, I'll so I'll do um, Gobsprack first. Yep. He is uh, charging uh, 3d6 because he's within 12 inches of Kragnos. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he said that he has the greatest confidence in me. Uh, so yeah, three d six charge for uh, twelve. Yep. So I'll put him into these dryads here. Okay. Kaka. And then, um, and then Kragnos is going to do his three d six charge. Man, this is, this is sad. So, like, this guy has just totally screwed up my plans, hey? Mm -hmm. um, you don't sound remorseful at all. No, no, I need him to be there. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm actually going to put him, I'm going to put this guy, I'm going to put him into him. Okay. Because I'm hoping that at least he can kill one guy. <laughs> and then I'm going to charge Kragnos into them. Okay. So at least he's doing something, right? Um, okay. 
So that is 11 plus 4 is 15. Rawr. That's fun. Can he get in to hit her? Probably not, right? Uh, well, he'll have to stop here, so... Yes. I guess maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just put him up yeah. right up against... Yeah, so not within three inches. Not within three? Okay, no. so then I'll, I'll put him over here instead. Okay. I'll, I'll do what you did and put him on both objectives. For sure. <laughs> um, cool. So then <clears throat> I will do... Uh, I'll do him first. Sure. So he, he's he got a new war scroll. So for, actually, you know what? Tell you what, I'll get my dice ready for him. And then, we, yep. oh, and we've got monstrous actions too. Yeah. Oh, right. So I, I'll stomp with, with him. Sure. So two up. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So he's dead. Um, but he, they did their job. Like they blocked yep. exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then he's going to try and yell at them. Three up. And he does it. Yeah. So he does some mortal wounds on the charge. Uh, let's see here. Rampaging destruction. Uh, so for each enemy unit within one inch, um, roll 2d6. Or if you roll, uh, or maybe I'll read. Oh, that's not, it's not an enemy monster. Right, right? When you, or you can pick one enemy monster. Oh, and roll 2d6. If you roll a dice for each enemy unit, on a 2+, plus, they suffer d6 mortal wounds. If you pick one enemy monster, so I, I don't, it's not a monster, so it's just d6 mortal wounds on a 2-up. Okay. Unless I'm mistaking something. So that's a 2-up. Dang it. Here, I'll roll another dice. 6. So he just does 6 mortal wounds to them. Just 6 mortal wounds. Just 6 mortal wounds. I think I can probably do this on the fly here. Yeah. Um, so I'm about to lose my, my command points, so I'm going to all-out attack him. Sure. <laughs> this is probably overkill, uh, <laughs> just by a little bit. So six attacks, hitting on twos. So they all hit, and he doesn't get the um, Cruel Boys keywords anymore. Yep. So two up to wound. Of course, there's three wounds, but that's okay. That's three at minus three rend. Okay, no save. And it's four flat damage. Okay, so they did. Yeah, they would have killed them with just that. Okay, um, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, we've got, so we captured this. Mm -hmm. We did it with a, wait, oh no, I, I killed them with a monster. Right. So that's three points for that. Yep. Two. One and one, right? Yeah, so that'll be uh, seven points for you? Seven points. Yeah, okay. And then it's roll off. Yeah. This is a bigger roll off than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. I got a three. <laughs> uh, Let me think, right? Yeah, I'm probably going to have to take it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, we'll be back with uh, Sylvan F turn two. Yeah, well, should we roll to see which one is the primary? Oh, sure, sure. Um, maybe I'll do it. Yeah, which is... Uh, so, we'll, we'll keep, maybe we'll keep it the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Okay. It's a six, so it stays over here. It stays there. Yeah. Okay, so this is, the, this is the primer. This It is. That's correct. Okay, and we'll be back. Excellent. Okay, so I won the roll-off, and I'm taking turn two. I really need to... Uh, I lost... I had, two shield, I had two kind of meat shields up against Kragnos, and they mm -hmm. both got eliminated. So I need to, yeah, do something here. So uh, I'm going to do bring it down. Okay. Uh, try to bring bring down Gobsprack. And, and he's going to birthday for his. Oh, yeah, actually, sorry, it's your it's your. Hair. Yeah, um, I yeah. I'll, I'll roll for a CP um, on. Or what if you birthday mm. Durthu so he gets plus one to wound, so he's less swingy. Yeah, that's and a good idea. And then if you do Titanic duel, you're plus to hit and wound. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm helping you, but I think that's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, I'll do uh, best day ever on Dirty. That's sure. a good idea. Sure. Yeah. And you'll do it on Gob's Rack. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go into spell casting. So I'm going to try to cast uh, Umbral Spell Portal. Cool. And so that's with this guy. So 3d6, and he's getting plus 3 to this. So that's going to be 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay, I'm going to try and unbind with uh, Gobsprack. 
Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I set one up within an inch, him here, and then um, wholly within 18 for the other one. This is true. So let's see if I can capture the most things here. So I'm just going to put this down. Cool. And see um, everything that I can do here. So 18 within him. So if I put it here, it's going to potentially hit Gobsprack. Yikes. Definitely those guys in the back. Those guys. And then let's see if I shift it a little bit this way. It's within nine? So it's got to be within nine of him. Oh, okay. So it's within 18, wholly within 18, within nine of Gobsprack, within nine of him. Yep. Okay. All right. And it, it, it hits everyone? It's within Well, nine? I've got to roll to cast it first. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where I'm hoping for a better roll. Okay. Three ones, Andy. Three ones. Do me this one favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is seven plus three is 10. Wow. Um, I have to try and stop this. Yeah. So I'm going to try and do it with Gobsprack. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So then what I do is I roll 10 dice uh, for each of the units within nine. Okay. And every five up is a um, mortal wound. Okay. So I'll start with Gobsprack. Yep. So he's going to take uh, five mortal wounds. Jeez. So he's got a six up, feel no pain. Uh, so he saved one of them. So he's taken four and he's down to 10. Um, or I'll just put a little wound dial on him for now. Sure. There we go. And so then I'll do this unit. I'll do Kragnos actually now. Sure. So he is going to take three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. So he also has a, has a six up. Nothing. So he takes three mortal wounds. Mr. Black. Uh, there we go. And then I'll roll for your wizard back here. Sounds good. So he takes two mortal wounds. So he's going to try and deflect it onto... Uh... Actually, no, he's going to leave it. I'm just going to let it rock because it's only two. Yeah. Um, let's see here. <laughs> so he takes two. There we go. And then I'll do the last unit at the back there. Uh, there's still these guys too. You haven't done these. Oh, right. Yes. So they take nothing. And then the unit at the back. Okay. See, that's what honesty gets you, kids. Right? Yes. <laughs> so two, two guys so, dead? So if they take four mortals on the guys cool. in the back. Okay. Pew, pew. Um, and then uh, Dreiker uh, is going to try to unbind the Endless Spell. That's correct. So I don't, what, what was the costume for the Endless Spell? I believe it's a six, but okay. I could be wrong. But we can look it up if you're... She wrote an eight. There you go. And I can't do anything about that, so... Okay. All right. And then we go to Alarial, so she will try to do uh, Mystic Shield. Okay. Uh, doesn't go off. Okay. Uh, so then she'll try to do uh, summon a wildwood. Okay. Goes off on a seven. Okay, I will try and unbind with my shaman. Uh, nope. So I'm just gonna put a wildwood. I can't unbind stuff. <laughs> I'll put a wildwood here. Cool. And then she'll do arcane bolt for 10. I don't think I have the last guy in range, so. Yep. Okay, so that is the end of my... Your hero phase. My very hero good phase. hero phase, yeah. Yeah, so we'll come back at the end of the movement phase. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, we are into the uh, shooting phase. And yep. I, so I, just to explain what happened, Please. I did... Uh, although I did best ever on Durthu, it seemed like the best thing to do would actually be to get Alarial in here. Um, she is more killy. She is more killy, yeah. And then I redeployed Gobsprack. I yep. rolled a four. I can re-roll it because he issued the command to himself. Yeah. And then I just kept it because I just didn't want to take the chance of getting like a one because yeah. now it's like, a, I think you said a seven inch charge. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, we'll see. Yeah. I, I ended up moving off this objective here, but if it keeps Gobsprack around, then it, I think it yeah. definitely w was worth it. Absolutely. Um, yeah. 
Um, okay, so into shooting then. So uh, I'm gonna do dry curve first. Okay. And uh, so if I had more CPs, I would use them to uh, all out attack. All out attack, but I don't. I only okay. have two CPs, so I need I need them for rerolling a charge. Rerolling a charge, and then maybe something in the combat phase. Yeah. 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 So okay. Um, um, and sorry, so you're shooting into. Oh, will I need it for something in the combat phase? I was gonna I say. So. Yeah, I'll spend it. I'll spend it with. Um, because if these guys get in, they're monsters. So you're gonna do Titanic duel. Yeah. So I'll spend a CP to. Um, I'll, I'll I'll use it when I shoot with Dorothy. I think. Okay. Um, so I'll for Dryker. Uh, so she's hitting on fours. Okay. Rerolling ones, and every six to hit is a mortal wound, and she's shooting into this unit here. Okay. And every what's a mortal wound? Uh, every six is six. a mortal wound. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I'll re-roll the ones. So that's two so far? Three. Three, oh yeah. Okay, so I'll take away the misses. I'm hitting on fours. <clears throat> okay, and so that's three mortal wounds. Yes, sir. And then she's wounding on uh, threes. Okay. So Two. that is four saves at minus one. Minus one, so that puts them back to sixes. Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, so that'll be seven damage total. Seven damage, so that's three guys plus, um, plus one damage. Okay, so I'll do one, two, three here, and then one damage on one of these fools here. Oops, come on, there we go. Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Um, I'll take out this middle guy instead because I need to remain in coherency. Uh, so actually I'll put that on this one here yep. just so it doesn't mess with my, so I don't have to remove models unnecessarily. Um, okay. So then I'll spend the CP for all out attack with uh, Durthu. Okay. So he'll be hitting on who's he, who's he targeting? Uh, same unit. And who's a Oh yeah, I don't get to ask you. Oh man, what's his rend on his attack on a shooting attack? Uh, rend one. Man, that would put them back to sixes. Um, I'll just leave, let it rock. I think at this point. Okay, so hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Sounds good. <laughs> so one miss, and uh. his best day ever. So he's wounding on twos. Okay. Wow. So four saves at rend one. Okay. Saving on sixes, nothing. Okay, so four, and there was no fives there either. So. Four d three. So that is wow, one, two, six, th six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine wounds. <laughs> so nine. So that's one, and then four guys. So this guy's dead, and then uh, one, two. Dang it! Not the champion. Three. Four. Yikes. Right? Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. Wow. That is scary. All right. And then the one that I want to do yes. is Alariel's going to shoot into the guys at Ooh, the back. Ooh, okay. I, what's her, the rend on her? Rend two. Oh, actually, then it doesn't matter. There's no okay. point in all out defensing. All right. <laughs> so she hits on a two, hits, and then she wounds on a two. Wounds, rend two. Okay, it goes through. Six damage. Wow. One, two, three. Ouch. Brutal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I better leave one of these guys in here. Because um, I, I want to make sure that there's a guy within three inches. Okay. So cool, then. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> charges. Yeah. This is the big roll. Oh, yep. Here we go. Alarial's charge. That's it. So that's a five, that's a fail. I'm mm -hmm. gonna have to spend a CP. Yep. That's a six. six. That's a fail. Ooh. Wow. And these guys ran, correct? Yes. You might as well have charged with, with dry chop. I'll charge with dry, dry yeah. yeah. See if I can roll something higher than a six. Cool. 11. 11, there you go. So I guess that I'll should get her in, I I'll think. I'll put her in, yeah. yeah. Do you want to measure it just to make sure? Because she has to move around the tree. Oh, no, yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it looked farther than it was. 
I'm just gonna see if Dothu can even attempt to charge. I mean, I don't, I think with movement, I don't think he would be able to get yeah, in. Yeah, I don't think so. No. But, um, I'll just keep Drake over here. Okay. Yeah, you wanna keep her on the uh, objective yeah. there. Okay. Um, so, combat phase? Sure, uh, well, monstrous actions first. Oh, right. Uh, so you go first. Yeah. Um, so I will do a Titanic Duel. I think I will, I think I will roar. Okay. To try to survive. Ooh. She might just kill him, hey? Oh man, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I'm gonna roar and try and survive. Okay. Nope, it <laughs> didn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Should have chose Titanic Duel. <laughs> okay, so then, um, so you're going first. So I yeah. will all out defense with Gobsprack. Okay. Try and keep him around. So she has uh, six attacks with the Slashing Talons. Okay. So she'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling one. Oh, wait a minute, you were, you don't have all out attack? No. Like you have no CP left? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I make it Titanic? I know, like, I rolled yeah, the yeah. wrong thing, but there was absolutely no point. I thought that ship was no. um, a CP. Okay. Because, no. like, there's no point in roaring if you can't all out attack. Yeah. Right? Oh, I guess there would have been. Never mind. I, I, I won't do it then. So, like, I didn't get it, but there was a point because then you can't all out defense, but that's not what I was thinking of. Right. right. But it doesn't matter. Oh, my. What are you gonna he says, I've got this. I, okay. Yeah. So hitting on three, so you're rolling once. So there's a couple of twos in there and then wounding on threes. So that is two at Ren two. Two at Ren two, um, goes right through his save. Uh, oh no, no, it doesn't, sorry. I get to save on sixes. <laughs> oh, I got one, okay. So just two damage. Two damage and then six up, feel no pain. Uh, which he gets neither of, so he's taken six wheels. And then she gets her uh, mass, uh, sorry, the swarm of squirmlings. Mm -hmm. This is the mortal wound thing? Yeah, so again, same thing. So hitting on uh, twos, rerolling one, sixes, and mortal wounds. Cool. So. Oh, uh, wait, sorry, he was saving, oh, it doesn't matter. Sorry, he's, sa he's got plus two to his save because of uh, birthday okay. as well. I almost for forgot that. Okay, so four mortal wounds. Okay, so six ups, uh, saves one of them. He takes three more, so he's taken nine. And then these are wounding on fours. Okay. So one, two, three, four, three more at no rent. No rend, so he's saving on fours because he can only be right. plus one to save. Yeah. Uh, he only saves one of them. Yeah. So it's how many wounds? Just one. Oh, okay. So then six up. Yeah. Nothing. So he's taken 11 wounds. Oh, I nearly did it. Yeah. Ooh. Just with her. Like if you'd got Alarial in there, it would have been game over. He said, it's no surprise that I survived. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, I guess I'll fight back then. I will uh, pull out my, my handy dandy card here. So he's got two attacks uh, hitting on threes. Uh, they both hit, and he's best day ever, so wounding on twos. <laughs> Good thing. So that's minus one rend. Okay, so she's a sa three up base, of saving on fours. Cool. So nothing? So it's D3 damage each, so that's five damage. Okay. And then he has, so he's taken 11. So he's on his second bottom profile. Three attacks with the beak and flesh tearing talons. Uh, again, no mortal wounds. And only one of those hits. And wounding on twos. <laughs> okay. And now one attack with the stinger. Uh, hits on threes, uh, and that is uh, not, not a mortal wound thingy, 
And now wounds on force, because he's taking a lot of damage. Uh, and now two attacks with the backup stabba. And they both hit wounds on threes. Uh, so one at no end, one damage. Okay, uh, save. He's so bad. <laughs> Never again. Okay. Um, so then that's the end of combat? Yeah, so then just battle shocks for you. Okay, I will uh, spend a CP to save these guys. Yeah. And uh, where is it? There it is. And then these guys are going to auto run because, yeah, that's. Uh, and actually, at the end of the battle shock, start of the battle shock phase, I'll unleash my arcane bolt into Gobsprey. Oh, sure. Yep. So try and do another mortal wound. Yep. You sure do. So he's taken 12 wounds. Ooh. Um, okay. So, well, so you got the important one here. Yeah. So you'll get two uh, points, but I failed my battle tactic. Right. Okay. Should have gone for the... I'm sorry. Yeah. I actually talked you into that. Yeah. But, I, but like it really looked like it. And I, I did say like off yeah. camera, like just change that to her birthday and like, you know, but... Yeah. Andy's too much of a gentleman to, to go back. Well, she didn't it. get in anyway, so. No, she didn't, but like, um, you know, and I was saying like, just change, you know, yeah. do what you think and yeah. anyway. But I, 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 I thought like, cause I, I thought you were gonna get both of them in. Yeah. You know, um, and you should have, cause it was a seven re-rolling. Yeah. But, and we didn't know that at the time that he was, anyway. Yeah. Um, not to dissect it too much, but. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll be back with Cruel Boys turn two. Yep. Okay, you dealt me quite the blow, Andy. I know it wasn't the turn that you had envisioned, but you killed a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm going to try and return the favor and also do something epic. I'm going to send Kragnos after Alariel. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna try and bring it down on her. Wait, does she count as the general in addition? Yes. Oh, okay. Then maybe I'll do that. As long as, assuming, because I think if you bring it down with a monster, you get an extra point. Or sorry, if you get the Slay the Whirler with a monster, you also yeah. get it. Okay, good. Yeah. So I'm going to do that because that's super epic and awesome. Um, and then I am going to Heroic Recovery Kragnos. Okay. Uh, he gets it for D3 for just one. Whatever. And I'll do um, Best Day Ever for Elario. Sorry. So he's, he's he'd taken three, so now he's only taken two. I was counting down again. Yep. Sorry, and she's gonna best day ever. Got it. Yep. Okay. Um, At the start of the hero phase, uh, yes, I'm gonna try to unbind my own uh, endless spell. Okay. So uh, two dice, I get plus one to this. Cool. And that's cocked. So yeah, five plus one is six, so I get rid of okay. this thing. And then you may, actually you could unbind it first if you wanted to. No, but. no. I just don't have the, you know, yeah. enough stuff to be able to do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So now in the hero phase proper, they're going to put, oh, sorry, actually, and then I'm supposed to do rally. Yeah. So I'm going to spend a CP on that. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, I roll one dice for each guy that's gone, hey? Yeah. So it's five dice. I got one. I think it was worth it. Mm -hmm. So put them here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that goes on them. And then I am going to do, um, whew. I'm going to do uh, the, in my endless spell. Yeah, Emerald Life Swarm from this guy here. Sure. Oh wait, no, I, I was gonna do it from Gobsprack for some reason. Okay. No, I guess I'll do it from him, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I was saying that, but I did get it with a seven. And is he at a range of? No, we measured. So he's in range now of? Uh, he was, uh, yeah, he was always in range. Yeah, okay, so I'll try to unbind with, uh, so this guy has one last unbind left. I'll cool. try to do that. Sounds good. And then trying to get a seven? Uh, seven, yeah. Okay, so I got a nine, nine. plus one is 10. So mm -hmm. stop that. Kobe, um, then I will try and do, I'm gonna do Arcane Bolt from him. Okay. So 
Uh, that goes off with an eight. Okay, I'll try to stop it with Dryker. Cool. Nope, you got it. So, okay. Um, should I should I roll that now? Because I'm going to do it at the start of the movement phase. Yeah, sure. Okay. So it's uh, D3 because I'm within three inches for just one. <laughs> so he has taken. Six. Okay. <laughs> one of those days. Um, and then he did the poison. And then the question is, what do I want to do? I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to try and do Choking Miss on Alarial okay. from Gobsprack, and it's basically minus one to hit. Okay, so, nope, doesn't get it with a four. Gobsprack is one of the worst casters. <laughs> uh, so that is the end of my hero phase. Uh, we'll be back at the end of the movement phase. Okay, so we are into the shooting phase. Um, Gobsprack retreated like a, the smart individual he is. Clearly knows when he's outmatched. Um, he ran eight, kind of in this direction. Uh, Kragnos moved up, and these guys ran up over here. So then, and then these guys moved um, just slightly. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna shoot into Drycha. Okay. She has five wounds, or four wounds left. Yeah, four wounds left. Okay, so I need two fives to kill her. To kill her, yeah. So this might be overkill. Maybe I'll, I'll do it in the dice tray, just so yep. things don't spill out too much. Um, yep, okay. she's dead. Yeah. That was eight wounds for anyone wondering at home, and just one hit. So it was actually a, not a great roll, but, but well worth it, obviously, yep. um, to get rid of Drycha, because she's, she's a problem. So now we got Kragnos. He gets to roll 3d6 into Alarial. So that'll make it. That is a 10-inch charge. And he's going to move in here. So now, at the at the end of the at the end of his charge, I can either roll one d six for each unit, or if it's a monster, I can just roll two d six against her. And then it does the amount of mortal wounds um, times itself. So if it's a two and a two, then it's uh, it does four mortal wounds. Right. If it's a two and a, a six, it does twelve mortal wounds. However, if I roll a seven, which is the most common roll, it doesn't do anything at all. Okay. So that's his rule. <laughs> so he does, I think it's just one mortal wound then, <laughs> unless I'm mistaken. <laughs> wow, that is sure is disappointing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, monster suffers from mortal wounds equal to the score of the dice used rolled multiplied together. So yeah, one times one being one, it, she only takes one mortal wound. Cool. Not cool, Andy. Um, heroic actions, I'm going to mean all out monstrous it. monstrous actions. Monstrous actions, I'm gonna all out it. I'm gonna Titanic duel. Uh, I am going to Titanic duel as well. Okay. Um, so first up is the Dread Mace. Okay, I will do all out defense. Cool. Smart. Um, so uh, six attacks hitting on twos. Uh, so they all hit and now wounding also on twos. I knew there was gonna be one in there but it's a good thing he's wounding on twos. So that is five at minus three. Okay, so right now I'm plus two to save. Yes. So I go back to a four. Yes. So I failed two. Um, so that is uh, eight damage. Eight damage, so she's taken nine so far. Okay, and now it's three attacks hitting on twos because of Titanic Duel, good thing. Uh, wounding also on twos. Okay, so that's two at minus two. Okay, so, so these would be saving on three. Yeah. So both save. Okay. Man, this is, uh, this is disappointing. <laughs> uh, so six attacks now with the hooves. Um, so hitting on, sorry. Six attacks hitting on twos. Okay, so they all hit at least wounding on twos. Uh, so that is five at minus one. Okay, so I'll be saving on twos. Yes. So they all save. Okay. Oh, no, 
さまが殺せなかったんだと。え、he says that。訳したら殺すぞ、こら。よーし。that was really disappointing <laughs> for for um for Kragnos anyway。Um, so it's, it's now it's you, my friend. Yeah, I might just need to check her.、Uh, we'll be right back. I'm just going to check what that does to her war scroll. All right, so yeah, I was just checking to see、uh, how the wounds that Aleril's taken affects her profile. And it just means she does less damage with her Great Antlers. So I'll roll the Great Antlers first.、Uh, four attacks、uh, with Titanic Duel. She's hitting on twos, re rolling ones because of Gnarl Root. So they all hit. And then she's wounding on twos with the great antlers. So that is three at Ren two. Three at Ren two, so then he's saving on fours. Yep.、Uh, so he misses one of them. So two damage. Two damage,、um, and then he has a six up. Feel no pain. Nope. So he's taking four wounds. Okay, and next up.、Uh, so then is the Talon of the Dwindling. So that'll be hitting on twos, re rolling ones as well. We'll hit. Wow, even at her taking eight wounds. That's pretty good. Yep. And then wounding on fours. So just one at no rend.、Uh, so he's saving on twos. I'll do it here. There、yep. we go. Okay. And then she's done. Okay.、Um, roll off. Or I guess I should figure out. So I didn't get my battle tactic. I probably shouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was my mistake.、Um, I just thought he could kill her. Like, come on, dude. Anyway,、um, so I'll get these two for two points. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So, similar to you. So, we both had a、yeah. not the best turn.、Um, no. roll, uh, roll, off. roll off. Here we go. Have a big roll off. One again. I four. I got to take it. Okay.、Uh, we'll be back with、uh, Sylvaneth, turn、yep. three. Okay, so we forgot to do the roll off. Yep. So the roll for. You're, you're still probably taking the turn. Yeah. But, but we should, you know, we'll do for posterity's sake, we're doing this on camera. Yeah, so, so where are the objective s So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And that is a six. That's <laughs> still over there. It's staying there.、Yeah. That's good. That's good for you at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.、Um, so we'll be back with Andy's turn three. So we're just going to backtrack on a couple of things、um, because actually this. One thing that could benefit me, one thing that could benefit Rob, so it's,、yeah. it's all fair. So, the first thing is、uh, because he ended this charge within range of the Wildwood、mm -hmm. on a four up, he would take D3 mortals. Yep. So, he does. He's、okay. going to take、um, three mortals on t r a g n o s Okay. Well, you'll see if he can deny. Nope. He takes all three of them. Yikes. Okay. So, he's taken、uh, seven. Okay, and then because he's taken seven now, his bellow of rage would go off, and I'm going to see if I could destroy the、uh, <laughs> the terrain that just hurt him. Yeah, I do not. Okay. Because it's four. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Well, maybe we can just go into what I'm going to do on my turn. Perfect, yeah. So, Sylvan, if turn three, this is correct.、Uh, I'm going to try to conquer this objective over here. Okay.、Um, and then it's、uh, heroic action. Yeah, so heroic actions.、Uh, so I will try to、uh, generate a CP、okay. um, with a l a r i e l Okay. And she gets it. Okay. And I am going to,、um, I'm going to try a heroic recovery k r a g n o s Okay. And he gets it for one. Okay then. Oops. There we go. All right. So then we can go into. Oh, sorry, I'm going to try and rally these guys. Okay. Yeah, to spend a CP. Yep. And I'm going to roll four dice and hope I can get a guy back here. Nope. But it was worth it. Yep. So I'll do a l a r i e l s spells first.、Okay. Uh, so she is going to try to.、Um, Cast、uh, Throne of Vines. Okay. Oh, can she cast Throne of Vines too? Yeah, because it's a generic Sylvanus spell. 
But he already has it going, yeah. Yeah. But he could, she can still cast it? As far as I know. Because then that's, the, that's two of the same spells, right? Well, but you're not casting it in the same phase. Right. Oh. Hmm. I, I, I guess that works, right? Yeah. Because it's okay. until... Basically, until he moves, he gets plus two to cast. That's the effects of... So the effects of the thing. spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this goes off on a five. Okay. So it goes off on a seven if you want to try to unbuy. I will with Gobsprack. Yep. And he gets it, okay. which means she takes D3 mortal wounds. Actually, no, sorry, it's D6 mortal wounds because I rolled a 10 or more. Okay. And I rolled a six. Oh my God. So, yeah. He nearly was... killed her. <laughs> so she so she stops. She's better at it, apparently, than freaking so Krag stops is. casting spells then, basically. Because if I do that again, he could kill her. Yeah, theoretically. Wow, okay. All right, uh, I guess I'll go to this guy then. Uh, so he's gonna try to cast. Wait, you get you get like two d six more wounds back. Yeah. So. So maybe I should do that now. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll do. I'll get back her wounds now, and then decide if I want to keep casting spells with her. Exactly. Yeah. So she gets six wounds back. Pretty good. So. So everything that I just did. Just taken nine. But still, I mean, that was pretty amazing to take. Six yeah, that was from. that was pretty lucky to roll a ten. Yeah, let me make sure I I did that right. <laughs> yeah, ten plus. Wow, nice. Uh, so then she's she'll... not a useless turd, you mean? <laughs> Gobsprack? What? Okay, sorry. Go on. <laughs> I love him so much. I love his lore. So yeah, how many wounds does he have left? Uh, two. Two wounds left. Yes, sir. Okay, so then I'll try to cast Metamorphosis with Valerial. Okay. So that goes, no, it does not go off on a six. Okay. Um, and can I, I cannot try and unbind something that no. didn't go off. Okay. No. Uh, so then she'll just try to do Mystic Shield on herself. Cool. That goes off on an 11. Big time. Yeah, I'm gonna let that rock. <laughs> Okay, so then we'll go to the Warsong Revenant. He's gonna to try to cast Umbral Spell Portal. Okay. So that is a nine plus uh, three is 12. Okay. I can't block it, so. Okay. <laughs> so one will go here, and then I'm gonna to try to position the one obviously to maximize the damage potentially that I would do to you, so. If it's here, it's gonna hit everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Is that good? Yep. Okay. So then I'll roll to cast her damage dealing spell. Okay. So that goes off on an eight plus three is 11. Wow. I'm gonna try and block it. Okay. Because, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of need to here. Uh. Nope, <laughs> that okay. was a good roll, but. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Seven, oh my God, nine, I forgot two. before when, Kragos shouldn't have taken those two mortal wounds at the very beginning. Not, I'm not gonna go back, probably, because he, he has a thing where he rolls 3d6 to just not have this spell count. So he's got the shield inviolate. Uh, each time they are affected by a spell, you can roll 3d6 if it's greater than the casting value of the spell. Then, so then he doesn't take the damage. He just doesn't take it. Yeah. So maybe I'll try that first. I won't do. I won't backtrack, but I'll do it this time. Okay. Right. So this won't stop the spell though. It'll just. It'll st it'll stop it from doing anything to him. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So sorry. What's the casting what's the, roll? Casting roll was 11. The casting value of the spell. Oh, to cast the spell. Yeah. Um, I believe I'll have to check that. Cool. <clears throat> I shouldn't have taken those two mortal wounds in the first thing, but that's my mistake. So I'm not going to go that far back. Um, okay, so the casting value is seven. Seven. Okay, so I'm trying to beat seven on three d six, and he does. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's not affected. He's not affected, but the rest of these jokers are. Okay, so we'll start at the front here. Yep. So on five. Um, they'll take mortal wounds. Okay. So they take uh, three mortal wounds. Okay. 
So one down and one takes one wound. Okay, and then this guy? Yep. Gobsprack. So he takes four mortal wounds. Okay, he has a six up. Uh, so he takes three and he dies. Wah, wah, wah. As usual. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so then the wizard? Yep. So he takes three. Okay. Um, he's just gonna wear that actually. Oh, because he has six wounds? He has, yeah, like 99% sure. If not, I will try and roll it onto them. Yeah, he has six wounds. Okay, and then the bolt unit. Cool. Ouch. So that is gonna be, um, so six mortal wounds. Oh, it's fours? I thought it was fives. Sorry, fives, yeah. Okay. Sorry, five mortal wounds. Five mortal wounds. So two dead and one takes a wound. Okay. Ouchy. And yeah, that's it for the magic phase. So okay. For the hero phase, sorry. So then we'll go into uh, movement in just a sec. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, movement was pretty quick. Um, I've um, Ilarial retreated, mm -hmm. but she can still charge and shoot even though she retreated. Yep. Um, and she's still moving 13 inches. Still moving even. 13, yeah. having taken nine wounds, it's, which is it's great. It's quite impressive. Yeah, Dorothy moved up here. Um, and um, yeah, actually, if you don't mind, what I'm just going to do is just uh, to finish off my movement here is I'm going to run oh, these yeah. dryads uh, too. So they're going to go nine. So I just want to get them um, over here. So so the, the shaman can't kind of get on there? and. Well, I'm just thinking I don't want Kragnos to be able to hit both Dorothy oh, and those guys. I see. I don't know if that was a thing that I can stop happening, but... Um, <clears throat> uh, I think you can. Yeah. I do do that. So that they're all on the objective, but... Yeah. I just want to prevent that as much as I can. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, so we're going into shooting now. Yep. So uh, go with Dirty first. I'll spend a CP for all out attack uh, with him. Okay. So he's going to shoot into your wizard in the back there. <clears throat> cool. So he's got six shots. He's not Dirthu be... can hit that wizard? Yeah. Oh, this wizard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's not re-rolling ones because he's not within range of a wizard anymore. Okay. But he's hitting on threes. Do you want Isn't to he a wizard? He's not a wizard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, what was it? I'm not going to do anything. No. Okay, so he's hitting on threes. Wow, oh, so wow. they all hit. Okay. And then he is wounding on threes. And that is five at rend one for your wizard. Uh, I'm, I guess he's probably dead. Uh, five up save, so I need a lot of sixes here, and he's dead. Because it's D3? D3 each, so he so, takes, yep, yeah, dead. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so then, Alarial shooting, so she's gonna try to shoot off sure. your guys in the back there. Sounds good. So one shot, she can reroll the one. Okay. She's not right. That's true. Two is a hit. Okay. And then she wounds on a two. Cool. Wounds. So ran two. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess that just goes through. So six damage. Six damage. Okay. So they're all dead. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, so then she's going to charge. Cool. Uh, so 2d6. So she gets a 10. So I'll uh, fly her over. I, I guess I can do that right now. Cool. Uh, so the back of her base, so 10 inches. So the back of her base would be here. So what I'll do is I'll just sort of pick her up and put her like here. Mm -hmm. Just so she's on the objective and then in contact. That sounds good. Um, and then uh, she does impact hits. Mm -hmm. So on a two plus okay. uh, and six is a special. So she'll do D3 mortal wounds okay. or two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. So kills one and there we go. 
Okay, uh, I'm pretty good to go straight into combat. Sure, monstrous actions. Monstrous actions. Um, stomp again. I'll do a, do a, yeah, I'll do a stomp. Cool. What's that state? Oh, sorry, in the charge phase, I, I have a, a thing that I always forget to do. So, start of the charge phase, um, I roll 2d6. Add one for every five models in this unit, which at the time was just one. Uh, if it's greater than the bravery characteristic of the enemy model, subtract one for hit rolls. Okay. So, um, that is, yeah, that's an 11. So, she is minus one to hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was a good roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I oh, think... that's not a monster. You're not a hero oh, or a oh, monster. Okay. Good lord. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> good lord. They're... I thought they were going to be especially good against monsters. I thought it would be... Mm. Oh, man. What's that base save? A uh, five. Okay. Um, I guess I'll stomp. Cool. Try, try a stomp for monstrous actions. That's why I always forget to do their so thing. So D3 mortals. <laughs> or like one way. mortal. Okay. Blink. Uh, so then I'll just go with Valerial. Sounds good. Uh, so she will spend a command point to f fight a top bracket for a monster. Cool. Um, so then I'll grab her profile here. So she's got the great antlers. Uh, there'll be four attacks <clears throat> hitting on three, three rolling ones. Okay. So that's two hits. And then wounding on twos. Okie doke. So two at ren two. Uh, so it goes straight through. Actually, I'm sorry, I might as well spend a, a CP. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, so it's, I'm looking for sixes. Yeah. Nope. So 10 damage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But it was worth a shot. Okay. Yeah, and so that's the end of my turn. Sure is. Uh, so um, I score this one for two, and I score that one for three. Yep. Uh, I get my battle tactic for five, and I did kill a monster as well this turn. Cool. So I'll get six. That's correct. Oh, so that'll awesome. put me on 14. Okay. And then um, back to you. Back to me. Um, I've got two models technically because this guy only counts as one model. Yeah. And he's almost dead. <laughs> he's got one wound left. So yeah, I'm not really sure um, what I can do here, but you know, yeah. I'll see if I can kill a Sure. Because I've, yeah, we've had this date since the beginning. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be back with Crew Boys, turn three. Okay, so we are into Crew Boys, turn three. This is, it's not looking like my game, but um, I really would like to kill Alarial, and even more so, I want to kill that Warsong Revenant because I think he's a piece of garbage. <laughs> so, um, my, my battle tactic is going to be to try and kill Alarial, so let's bring it down. Yep. I'm going to try and heroic recovery Kragnos. Hopefully he can do it a little better than before. He gets he gets it again, but again he gets one back. Ugh. And I, I'll try to heroic, heroic recovery Alarial. Okay. And she's good, so she'll get back D3. Cool. For one. Um, excellent. So now my, uh, let's see. I guess that's it. I might as well cast a spell. Um, is it holy within to cast Mystic Shield? Yes. Okay. Then I will try and do... Did this guy have Choking Mist? I don't know. I think he had Choking Mist. I'm pretty sure. So I'll try and cast it on, on her. Okay. So... Uh, I'm almost positive it goes off with a six. Okay, I'll try to stop it with the war song. Cool. So he, 3d6. Plus one. Plus one. So he gets, yeah. gets Big that. time. Um, okay, uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's my sad little hero face. We'll be back at the end of the movement phase. Oh, actually. Um, oh, you want to unbind? I want to unbind that, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's gone. Okay. Okay, so uh, in the interim, Andy 
in true jerk fashion, <laughs> <laughs> tried to get any moral victory I could have had away from me. And he redeployed Alarial, was it four inches? Yeah. So uh, I need a nine. Um, he is still rolling 3d6 when he charges. Yeah. But um, so <laughs> here goes nothing. <laughs> well, I'll spend a CP because screw it <laughs> and re and try and reroll that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna do the roll off into yeah. uh, into turn four. Yeah, I, we we think we lost some footage there. Yeah. So um, we, yeah. we we didn't get to that, but yeah, I didn't make the charge. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's um, roll off. Yeah, let's roll off. <laughs> and I, I won the roll injury. off. <laughs> you sure did, Andy. I mean, heck, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming you're gonna take it. Right? Yeah, I'll take the turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. I guess we'll be back with Sylvaneth turn four. Okay, so we, um, I took a look at the battlefield <laughs> and I just, uh, I don't think it's possible. Um, normally I like to play it, even like going into the other turn, I, I really just wanted to kill a Lariel, mm -hmm. um, but I was denied that and, and Andy was just kind of talking through his upcoming turn. He was gonna move Valerial back. And then, and then what do I do? I just sit here with Kragnos or, yeah. or what? Right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, but, but, you know, it was a fun game. Uh, unfortunately, Kragnos just did not roll, you no. know, like he should have. Uh, double ones on that charge was really unfortunate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then not rolling, you know, yeah. double, trying to roll into her twice and then yeah. still not getting it. Um, I don't remember what my rolls were, but people can... Yeah, well, hopefully I, I, it's in there. It, it, yeah. Neither one was a uh, was a nine, which is what I needed. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But but thanks for coming on. Thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, please hit all those buttons, and we'll see you guys next time.